They've long held key cultural and nutritional value for Indigenous Australians living in the country centre, but honeypot ants may hold an effective pathogen-fighting ingredient in their honey. Researchers compared their sweet stuff to two bee species known to have antimicrobial properties. Joining us now is Dr Kenya Fernandez, a microbiologist at the University of Sydney. Doctor, tell us about the findings. Do they support using uh, this honey for medicinal purposes, as we've seen First Nations groups do? Yeah, absolutely. The findings were really, really striking. So the first really interesting thing about ant honey is, although it's similar to bee honey in that it is nectar sort of collected and processed by an insect, it's quite different in its physical properties. So it's a lot water uh, waterier for one, which is really interesting. So we were kind of uh, sceptical as to whether it would actually have any antimicrobial properties at all. But when we tested it, we found that not only did it have really, really strong activity against um, some potential human pathogens, but also that its activity seemed to be quite unique. So something that is um, different from the other types of um, honeybee medicinal honey that we would normally use. Goodness, okay. I think, as you say, we've all heard of honeybees and now we're hearing about honey ants. Are there any other insects that also produce honey and, and could also be used in this way? Yeah, well, I mean, bees definitely have the market share. Most of the honey made in the world is produced by the honeybee. Um, but there are also honeypot ants. There is also a species of wasp which makes uh, honey in Mexico. And there is also a lot of um, native bees which also make honey. So here in Australia, we have almost 2,000 species of native bees, actually. Not all of these make honey, but some of them do. Um, one kind of uh, more known one would be Tetragonula carbonaria. That's a native stingless bee. So, yeah, there's, there's a couple of different insects out there. And it seems like the, um, the uh, mechanism behind the antimicrobial activity of their honey can often be quite different when it comes from different insects. Gosh, I'm glad you had to say that uh, bee's name out loud and not me. That was, <laughs> that was a real mouthful. Well done. Um, tell us a bit more about these honeypot ants. Are they unique to Australia? Are they found all over the world? Yeah, so this particular species, uh, this particular genus is uh, unique to here in Australia. Um, it's actually quite amazing. There are nine different species of honeypot ants around the world, and they have all evolved independently. So that means they're not kind of just the same species that are spread across the world. It's actually been nine separate instances where this kind of novel mechanism of storing um, nectar has evolved. So I guess that suggests that there must be something unique about it because it keeps on happening. But the ones that are here in Australia, they're found most uh, mostly in sort of as arid uh, desert regions. So they're in um, Western Australia and they're in the Northern Territory. Um, and they're quite rare, they're quite hard to find. So for the indigenous people who use them, it's kind of like a whole day outing and a special activity to go out and actually find these ants. Okay, so you wouldn't expect that this would be able to be commercialized then? That process would be a bit too tricky, do you think? Yeah, we think that probably it's unlikely the honey itself will be able to be used directly um, in any sort of clinical capacity. One, because it's very rare and hard to get, and two, because it is quite sacred to the Indigenous people. Um, but what this research represents is the fact that we might be uh, able to go on to identify what the unique antimicrobial compounds are in this honey. So if we were able to do that, we could then go on to develop those compounds as new antibiotic treatments. Fascinating stuff. Dr. Kenya Fernandez, appreciate you sharing that with us. Thanks so much. Thank you.